ordinary Ghanaian and cashew farmer. After five solid years of planting cashew, only earned 15% commercial viability of the land, and the remaining 85% of the entire plantation goes to waste. Allow me to introduce to you Waste Unlimited, the company making revolutionary changes within the cashew value chain by processing this cashew apple waste into industrial impact. We serve the pharmaceutical market, that of the health service market, and also the alcoholic beverage industries with a deal size of 30,000 liters per month. This market is estimated to hold $54.6 million annually as of last year. Our product is similar to that of Caltech and also the conventional ethanol producers. But we are different because of the cost savings that we give to these industries. As an added advantage, our customers also get to earn 10% in savings and clearing costs. There's also the opportunity of a 20% tax reduction in raw materials or sales locally. We are highly refined and of a better quality. We are organically sourced as well as environmentally friendly with a carbon savings of 16.2 tons CO2 equivalent. Your Excellency, the President, all whose calls observe. My name is Amanda Ininiji. I am an electrical engineer and the founder of Mandy Smart Coaches. So I believe that we can attest to the fact that stress levels are on the high because we are in a fast paced world. Personally, as I stand here, I'm stressed. <laughs> Aren't you also stressed? <laughs> exactly. So because of this, there are harsh conditions on the rise. Unfortunately, people don't know about it until it is too late. So, last two years, my dad had a near heart attack. It took him off guard, he was on his way to work. Because of this, I decided to create a smartwatch that measures heart rate variability, blood oxygen concentration, accelerometer, and gyroscope data. So, this is to prevent diseases and heart conditions from taking you from, um, by surprise. So, what makes my watch unique from what is on the market, like the Apple Watches, is I have advanced algorithms for predicting stress levels and heart risk, so you'll be able to know before it happens. So, therefore, I would love for you to invest an amount of 250,000 Ghana CDs into my business. This will be used for data protection, up algorithms and sensor, um, sensor acquiring, um, creating jobs among many others. So it is estimated that by 2028, $105 billion will be made in revenue in the smartwatch business. Observe. My name is Costa Ufiose, and I am the co-founder of a green business by the name Ikobo. So as the saying goes, on the last three days, the last man also dies. And we as Ikobon, uh, we believe that there's a better way to build without causing any harm and danger to our environment. So that is why we are using sustainable source coconut to waste materials to build panel um, box for building and construction purposes. We are doing so without relying on the forest timber um, products which causes what harm and danger to our environment. And uh, the World Health, um, uh, the, um, World Health um, Organization has reported that this um, box made with, the, with uh, timber has a human carcinogen which causes cancer and leukemia to its end world users. This board has an advantage over our competitors in such a way that whilst uh, they use artificial glues for binding, we do not use artificial glues for binding. This is because there is a chemical property in this board called lignin, which does what the binding by itself, whilst it is uh, under hot um, pressing. This board can be used for furniture, building and construction purposes. So we strive in a global market with a value of $20 million in Ghana and $1.4 billion globally. Currently, we have sold to 50 users uh, globally and we have a demand to offer 2,000 bucks to four companies which will generate an amount of 200,000 um, Ghana city in the next six months. 
So we are requesting for 400,000 Ghana City to be able to purchase machines and also um, invest in marketing. Okay, well, thank you, guys. It is time for the need to turn the nation's problems into opportunities. His Excellency Nana Akufado, all protocol of Z, good man. I'm a Prahim Zidim, the CEO of Northern Nation from Northern Region. We are transforming rice husks, rice stores, and plastic waste into fire. Annually, Ghana generates over 1 million tons of rice husks, rice stores, and plastic waste, causing significant climate issues and poses threat to human health. At Health Innovation, we are harnessing these exorbitant waste to produce plywood. The current plywood in the market absorbs water, leading to burning, twisting, and separation of its layers. With the plastic component in our plywood, ours is water resistant, non burning and twisting are relatively affordable, representing exactly what the customers need and setting us apart from our competitors. The cost of producing a unit of our plywood is 112 cents and the selling price is 210 cents, with a profit margin of 47%. The private market was valued at 83 million US dollars in 2022, and we target 12% of it. We so far secured 200 potential customers, established partnership with 400 smallholder farmers, and tested our product with Forest Research Institute. We are currently seeking for an investment of 200,000 dollars, series, which will be spent on the acquisition of machines, raw materials, marketing, and other necessary things to scale our business, and then also reduce deforestation climate change, and also contributing to a um, circular economy. This will also impact the policies that are implemented by the government to reduce waste production. Mr. Excellency, the government of the all protocol of this, I'm Samo, the CEO of Nanuna Technologies. We develop smart switches which help to care the problem of the inability of leaders to control their energy consumption in their absence. So with the RKS switch, it will give access to the user so that the person is able to call the system to put it on or off for you. can also set it to perform the task for you automatically. So I will need a demonstration for you to watch how it works. So this is the smart switch. So as we are having, if you want to put the bulb on, you just call the number of it, then the, the number is here, yeah, so please have, give the number to the guys, so they call. <laughs> so please, if you call the number, the board will be wrong. If you call again, it goes off, so you we'll put it across, so please, whenever you call the number, when the call is in process, this board, this board will to let you know that the call is in process. So please, you have to pass it the call again. So please, when you call again, the system will go off. This system can be used in cars, every, any device that has any, every electronic devices. So please, you have to call again. At a point if you call this, system will start making a noise. So that if you're in America, you want to, we use that to test I'm not this. So please, 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 My name is please, 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 could not have their daily food needs speak less of getting adequate nutrition. This problem stems from a lack of capacity of our local producers to meet local demand due to unsustainable farming technologies. This is where we come in. At Verti Tower, we are developing vertical farming installations for smallholder vegetable farmers to multiply their yield using our product, the BT Grow. BT Grow is a locally engineered system in which you can grow fresh produce in a water-based medium and is powered by solar energy. We are playing in the vegetable production market, which is valued at $0.95 billion, and we are like companies like Farm Estate and Tropical Growers. However, we are different. Our system can yield up to four times more produce, is friendly for use by the smallholder farmer, and is engineered to be efficient right in the open field, not in a greenhouse, not in an enclosed space. 
So these are samples of products I have manufactured. This is also shall not explain to you. Okay, so this is the I proposed to KFC with the waste to receive by the Arabic Dokuna light, Shandilia light, and four light, Shandilia and other stuff of light that I've manufactured. Thank you. We simulab. Simulab will provide a virtual environment in which students can perform all their scientific experiments without the need of a physical laboratory. Simulab also gamifies the scientific concept and mathematical concept, making it easy and accessible to every student. In fact, we went to the eastern part and Ashanti part of Ghana and then we did a test. What we realized was students are able to gain 80% of what they learn, which is they are Retention time increased by 80%. With that, we went back to the drawing board and added two more functionalities, which makes us different from what is on the market. One is this offline feature. No matter where you are in Ghana, whether you are connected to internet or not, you can now use Simulab. We also added a feature that connects you to every device you want, whether it's mobile, VR, web, desktop, you name it, you can make it happen. Now, we understand that the market is large and there's huge competition. But for us, for our products, they are biological. Our product also increases yields by up to 30%. And beyond that, it also reduces the impact of climate change on our farms. We all know climate change is going to us, don't we? Now, at Green Heart, again, we are creating a lot of jobs what we are doing. In the past 30 months, we've created 13 jobs, and we hope to create five more with the support of 250,000 Ghana We would create Another operation plant in Apuse, where much of our raw materials come from, so that the youth over there will also get a job. Please join us on this journey to make Ghana a greener and cleaner country. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Godot of Oma Wisdom, and I'm a fresh line post harvest solutions in Akuma and in Ashan 2 region. Aside the recurring post harvest losses, this is very excessive that we face annually in Ghana here especially in tomatoes, the abrupt change in climate change has resulted in draining harvest. And this has directly affected the amount of tomatoes we have on the farm currently, or the market currently. And that is a precedent. It's why Ghanaians are now struggling to get fresh tomatoes in the market. And for us as consumers, what this really means is we are either forced to consume cheap or most important tomato beef from China, or deal with overly expensive fresh tomatoes imported from Burkina Faso. As a company, we are doing our part by sourcing surplus tomatoes we realize during other seasons from our and in the environs and then convert them to the Akuma tomato powder. This product I have with me here, made without additives, preservatives or chemicals, fit perfectly with the emerging health conscious consumer markets that we have in Ghana here. The program Chief Executive Officer of Ghana Enterprise Agency, the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Digital Center in the meeting. Contestants, award winner, members of the diplomatic corps, full of an air, ladies and gentlemen. We're gathered once again to celebrate the achievements of the nation's bright and ambitious youth. This is the final season of my tenure as President of the Republic. And each moment spent with you has been a great privilege. The opportunity to engage closely with the young minds of Ghana is a blessing I don't need to do. Today we're not merely here to witness a competition, but to embrace the, pound, the boundless potential that resides within the hearts of our young entrepreneurs. I must begin by expressing my heartfelt appreciation to the Chief Executive Officer of the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program, Mr. Kofi Ufusun Kansa and his dedicated team for continuing with this remarkable initiative, which was started by the then Minister for Business Development, the resourceful Ibrahim Mawal Mohammed, and the late CEO of MEIP, the late Member of Parliament for Addition and former Deputy Minister of Finance, the Honorable John Kumar. Through their tireless efforts, we discovered and nurtured 
the extraordinary possibilities that these entrepreneurship pose for our beloved nation. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past four seasons, I've been fortunate to witness at first hand the remarkable talent, resilience, and indomitable spirit of Ghana's youth. In this very room, where dreams take flight, we have seen ideas transform into enterprises and passion blossom into purpose. I have no doubt we are about to witness yet another display of brilliance and innovation, testament to the unyielding drive of our young entrepreneurs. Allow me to take a moment to honor all the contestants who have graced this stage over the years. And so put your hands together as we celebrate our very own. To you, the late Dr. John Puma, we say rest in glory. Please, a round of applause. 